Hello everyone. I just wanted to share a nice, easy way of adding different footstep sounds to a 2D game without using trigger colliders. My way uses a scriptable object system and tile maps to determine what type of floor the character is currently on, and plays the appropriate clip for that floor type whether it be grass, dirt, carpet, stone, or anything else the player can walk on. I started off with one sound for the steps, and very quickly realised that one sound was no way going to cut it. So I looked into Foley. Foley, for those of you that don't know, is the art of creating sound effects for movies, games, audiobooks, etc. Think back to when you were at school and you'd clap two halves of a coconut together to make the sound of a horse galloping. That's Foley. Every terrain that you walk on makes a different sound, so my game needed just that. I found a great sound effects pack on itch.io which had multiple sounds for multiple terrains, which was everything I needed, even carpet and tile for my indoor scenes, and best yet, it was a free package. So I went about creating a scriptable object which I called Tile Daters. In the scriptable object, I added a floor type enum for every surface I would need. Then all the tiles would need is a tile, an array of audio clips, and the floor type. Then I went about making the tile palette and the tile map. The tile map is hideous when visible. There was one tile for grass, one for dirt, gravel, stone, snow, tile floor, wood, and carpet. Then I hid it underneath everything. Next, you need a map manager. I got this idea from a tutorial by Shackman about making different floor types have different speeds for the bugs walking across it. He made grass slow the bugs down and stone would speed them up. Simple and it was easy to change into an audio clip thing. So the map manager detects the tile in question and returns a random sound clip from the array of that floor type. That way each step sounds slightly different and reduces the chance of repetition and boring the player. Now. My player has a lot of children objects for different things, but the animator is on the parent. So I added a script just for animation events to the player parent object. This way I can call these specific functions in the animator. In this script, I made a method called step, which calls upon the map manager to return the floor types random clip and then play it whenever the player's foot hits the floor. I set this in the animator as an event. Now, this is definitely not the only way or the best way to do this. However, it was an easy way of doing it and the way that made most sense in my head when I was planning it. And that's everything. The player now makes the right sound for whatever terrain they're walking on. Like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. I'm planning on making some more videos explaining aspects of the game that I found interesting or challenging. Plus, as the game progresses, I will be dropping teasers and trailers for it.